In commemoration of the day, more than 100 partners from telecommunication industries, government, the development sector, UN agencies, technologists, innovators, entrepreneurs, and gender equality activists celebrated and promoted the role of women and girls in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. With this year's team, the UN resident coordinator, Richard Howard says it reminds us to recognize the females in our community who are championing the advancement of transformative technology and digital education. Now the UN, this is boring for many of you working in the communities, but the UN has to define its priorities for the next five years. And you know, as usual, you know, economy, environmental sustainability, governance, these are always there. But I have decided with our team, with Temba and Marielle, and with our development partners, that we will put women and girls as the number one priority. For he says in PNG, there is more work to be done to ensure that women and girls can enjoy their fundamental human rights. You know, we should never see people in those communities, those women, as powerless or voiceless, because they have power. How do we mobilize that power that's there and stand behind that and enforce that? The Deputy Representative UN Women stressed that PNG has to invest in internet technology to bring solution to some of the problems women faced in the country. Now, if we were to invest in technology and especially harness the capacities of women and their creativity in bringing up you know, technical, technological so solutions to the problems of agriculture, to the problems of health, to the problems of education, we can actually reach more communities. UNFPA country representative Mariela Senda says it is important to celebrate the day to recognize the women who have made progress in the country. However, she is not happy with so many violence against women and girls issues in the country. I'm an angry person today and that's why I'm wearing a darker color because I'm so influenced by the news that I heard about the, the rapes and the sorcery accusation related violence against women and young girls. This is not what we would expect of Papua New Guinea. I know that uh, when I grew up here it was a different situation. The governor for NCD and chairman of the parliamentary committee of gender equality and women's empowerment Powers Pakop confirmed that PNG has a long way to go, regardless of the women who have made progress in the country. Today I need to remind us too that we have not made much progress on bringing to justice those who have perpetrated against, uh, especially in the space of uh, sorcery, accusatory related violence. Not one. And we've seen all the videos. We've seen all their faces. We have made all the calls to the authorities that are responsible. Estagane, National MTV News.